Hello students. So in last class we have seen about the properties of the planar graph. There are many properties we have seen. So in this class we are going to study about the examples of the properties which we have seen so far. So the first example is let G be a planar graph. We have to consider G as a planar graph with 10 vertices three components and nine edges then find the number of regions okay so they have given us the vertices that are 10 vertices and their components are there so k is equal to 3 and number of edges also given that are becomes 9 okay and finally we need to calculate the number of regions so in a planar graph if we have given with us like vertices, components and edges. So we have seen one formula is that in that the k value is present. That formula is called as the Euler's formula. Okay. So we will put all the values and then we will check whether we are able to get the number of regions or not or we have to apply the another formula. So number of vertices are given. So, vertices becomes 3, sorry 10, number of regions we need to calculate, number of edges are given that are becomes 9 and components are 3 and this is the plus 1 as it is. So, the number of regions become, this value becomes 9 plus 4 that is become 13 and this 10 will go this side as minus. Okay, so finally 30 minus 10 becomes 3. So the number of regions present in this particular graph with vertices 10, components are 3, edges are 9, then regions becomes the 3. Okay, so let's see another example. So example is like this. Let G be a planar graph with 20 vertices. Okay, so vertices are given that are become 20 degree of each vertex is 3 okay matlab 20 vertices hai aur har ek vertex is degree kitni hai exactly 3 hai. then we need to find out the number of regions okay so first of all we will calculate the edges okay first of all we will calculate the edges we know that the sum of degrees theorem where degree of each vertex vi is value equal to i equal to 1 to n summation of degrees of all the vertices is 2 times the number of edges. So we know the total number of vertices that is become 20 and each vertex is having degree 3. So 20 multiplied by 3 is equal to 2 times the number of edges. So here 20 multiplied by 3 becomes 60 and this is 2 times the number of edges. So, edges becomes 60 by 2 that is become 30. So, we know that the edges now that are becomes 30 but we need to find out the number of regions. So, we have to find out the number of regions. So, degree of each vertex be given or edges be given. So, we need to calculate the number of regions. So, we know that Euler's formula by using that formula, we can calculate the number of regions when we have vertices and edges. So, formula become V number of vertices plus number of regions is equal to number of edges plus 2. Number of edges plus 2. Number of vertices we know that. That will become 20. Number of regions, we need to calculate that. And this is become 30 plus 2. So, number of regions becomes 32 minus 20. So, number of regions in this particular graph becomes 12. So, this is the answer for this particular question. Okay. So, we have calculated the number of G, sorry, number of regions in this particular graph G. Okay. So, in finally, we will see the last example what it says that. Let G be a connected planar graph. Here the word is occurred that connected planar graph 
with 35 regions. So regions are becomes 35. And degree of each region is 6. Degree of region kitna hai? 6. They waste kitna region se? 35. Then we need to calculate the number of vertices present in that particular connected planar graph. So we know that sum of regions theorem so that becomes sum of degrees of regions where i varies between 1 to n is equal to 2 times the number of ages so yahan pe kitne regions hai there are 35 regions are there and each each region is having the degree 6 so 35 multiplied by 6 is 2 times the number of ages so this 2 and this 6 becomes dividable so this is 3 ok so 35 into 3 becomes the number of ages so if we will multiply this then we will get the number of ages that are becomes 1 or 5 ok so we have calculated the number of ages now we are having the ages that is becomes 1 or 5 Okay, but we need to find out the number of vertices. So we have the regions now vertices and uh, sorry number of regions and ages. We need to find out the vertices. So again we will use by Euler's formula. Okay, so which okay. formula use करेंगे Euler का जिसमें k value नहीं है क्योंकि हमारे पास k value present है क्या k value present नहीं है so the formula becomes number of vertices plus number of regions equal to number of ages plus 2 ok so we have to calculate the number of vertices plus number of regions are given that is become 35 number of ages becomes 105 and this is become 2 ok so number of vertices becomes 107 minus 35 ok so number of vertices if we will calculate uh, from this then it will get 72 so number of vertices in this particular graph are 72 kaun sa graph hai ye g a connected planar graph yahan pe likha hai connected disconnected hota to components bhi banate hain okay lekin ye kya hai connected planar graph jisme 35 regions hai aur degree of each region alag 6 hogi so, we have calculated ages we calculated ages and ages and we have calculated the number of vertices. So, in this particular connected plane graph, there are 72 vertices are present. Okay? I hope you have some examples. In the next video, again we will take some examples based on other properties of a plane graph. Till then, thank you so much. Keep watching.